vacuum cleaners pulling everything around them. Also my lovely hair. Also, what's vacuum? Let's do an experiment to figure it out. Hello friends, I am Albert Einstein and welcome to my lab where you and I will be exploring science beyond your books, around us in things that surround us. So let's get started. Today's experiment is balloon lifter. For this experiment, we need a porcel glass, a matchbox, a bowl filled with water, a balloon. Let's go! Step 1. We begin with the strong porcel glass. Now light the matchstick and we burn one end of the paper. Now quickly drop this burning paper into the glass. Now we dip the balloon into water and place it on top of the glass. Huh. Shall I lift the balloon? No! La la la, la la la. La, 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 la. How is this happening? Let's find out. How did the balloon lift the glass? Was it the burnt paper or the wet balloon? Or could it be both? The burnt paper made the air inside the glass hot. As the air becomes hot, it begins to expand and air molecules spread out. Some even managed to get out of the glass. So now we have lesser air molecules inside the glass. Suppose there were 10 million air molecules inside the glass. After heating it, we have only 7 million molecules. When we place a wet balloon on top of this hot glass, we lower its temperature. As the air inside cools down, the air molecules that were scattered before contract and settle down. So, the 7 million air molecules that fill this glass now contract and create an empty space called vacuum. A vacuum is a space that's created when there is low amount of matter. Due to low amount of matter, vacuum has low air pressure. And yes, you guessed it right. The balloon gets pulled into this empty space called vacuum. So friends, you see, vacuum is nothing but an empty space that pulls things inside. And gases, they always move from high pressure zones to low pressure zones. Isn't this cool? What's even cooler is that vacuum cleaners use the same principle to pull things inside. No wonder they're called vacuum cleaners. With the help of a motor, a low pressure zone is created inside the cleaner. This difference in air pressure causes the air to move along with the dust particles inside the cleaner. So friends, next time you see someone with this machine, you know vacuum is pulling things in. Do it!